All right, y'all, we're in Houston, Texas at Major Deal. I don't know where the sign is. It's on the door. You can't really see it. Major Deal, Barber Studio, about to do a class. Me, myself, I cut hair for fun. My man Kendricks and Basio is here with us today. So a three-part class. We're about to go in here and get set up for the class. It's about 80 people. We sold out this class. And actually, one of my first classes I ever did was here, and we sold out with Beam about three years ago, kind of still during COVID. So excited to be back. Let's go in here and get set up and get to this class. So we got set up some chairs. Obviously, some chairs here. Bro, I said thank you. Yeah, boy. I said thank you for that bag because like I'm done setting up. What do you think, bro? That's fire. I took the uh the, the like the little table joint out so I can fit my blow dryer. In, but that's perfect. Nice. All right, got all this stuff. Brought the whole camera, the tripod. We're about to set up a full camera setup and see what it do. Alright y'all, we set up, station set up, doing a camera set up for the first time. So I got my full setup. Last time we did the class, basically it's hard to aim a phone when you can't see the screen around back. So we're gonna try to use basically the setup I record YouTube with, plugged into a splitter. Kendrick's over here got his camera, hooked up to a splitter, ran to the projector and on the screen for everybody to see. So we can click back and forth between my input, his input. Basically, I'm gonna record just like I'm cutting a tutorial. You'll be able to see what I can see on the camera up on the screen. So we're gonna test that out for the first time. Got the tools set up. This is my normal travel kit, guys. Obviously, the Babyliss Customs, the Boosted, the Sabres, the Slimline, and then my two shavers that I normally use and my new Marty Blends guards. If you guys didn't see that video, definitely check it out. Kendrick's set up and ready. You ready? New bag, yeah. You ready? ready? New bag, yeah. So I blessed him with this GMB because my man was bringing a toiletry case <laughs> full of his tools. So he took the bottom rack out of this so that he could. He always had to carry his blow dryer with him. So took the whole bottom rack out so that uh, he could put his blow dryer in it. And you guys see he got the, uh, what are these gold joints with the number nine on them? What's the number nine? Oh, bro. That's special. So it's going to oh, be a video oh. coming out on these. Some special. There ain't no number nine. Anymore. There ain't no number nine. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't supposed to know. Stuff that ain't really out yet. I can't. I can't tell them nothing yet, huh? You can't tell them about what's inside of them. Okay. Okay. Well, good thing they can't see it. But he got that. What's this? The JRL? This is like a ten twenty or something. Mm -hmm. Never use these. It's for like a, It's got like a fade, but I'm gonna use these for like balling out. So I'm just like a little bit closer than the okay. trimmer, and then and just then your trimmer. custom trimmer, custom shaver. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The bare necessities. <laughs> bare necessity. <laughs> but we're set up 70 chairs. I think we got like 80 chairs actually. Packed house. We got to do the projector because they're not going to be able to see what we're doing up here. My man Kendrick's vlogging as well. If you guys didn't follow his channel, what's the channel, man? I can have fun, baby. You can follow me on Instagram and YouTube, dropping shorts and tutorials. Daily and weekly, bro. Yeah, y'all, y'all go right. check him out, man. Showing some love. We try to get it, get his channel boosted. So I never forget, guys, when I was starting my channel. A couple of the guys, Bossio, some other guys, Beam. Every chance that I got to be kind of shown on their channel gave me a little boost on my channel. And a couple times I got those significant boosts that kind of got me going. So y'all go show some love to Kendrick's. Let's get into like a thousand subs. Ooh, that's sick, bro. That is that is thousand. Actually, that's the that goal. Is actually, my first goal. Yeah, that's yeah, actually that's bro. the first goal. A thousand no, no. subs. So a thousand of y'all. How many you got? Hundred, hundred fifty something right now. Two hundred. So we just hit I need eight hundred of y'all to go follow my man subscribe to my man appreciate y'all all right y'all so we got basically a normal tutorial set up kendrick's head in the chair look at that you're gonna be out man i'm telling you crispy got it on the tv up there too and then we'll be able to switch to his camera it's on the same thing we can switch back and forth so everybody can follow along we're about to start letting people in and get to this class all right, man, look who in the building. Y'all know what it is, man. We up in this thing. We My man here. supports every time. I had to drive an hour out here, but I had to come support, show support. Support. Show, 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 support. Some, show some love, support. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My man Tank, man. We're going to, uh, we've been talking. I got something coming up soon, so y'all got to stay tuned, because I'm going to call him out, because I'm the, I'm the Clipper guru. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. We're going to see. Y'all stay tuned for that. So this is a quote that I made a few weeks ago, and it's by far my favorite post that I made. And this quote says, if you're going to do something, do it. 100%, not 80%, because 80% completion is the equivalent to zero. And with that, I want you guys to look at this picture for me. 
Does anybody recognize this, this photo? This guy right here was almost there. Almost to the finish line. Almost to the part when he was about to clean his goal. Almost to the dollars. And he quit and gave up. My assumption of this photo is he probably had a buy. He probably wanted those diamonds really, really bad, right? I don't think he had a deeper motive. That's why I feel like that was the most important. Because if he had a deeper motive, he wouldn't quit. That's that's what I want you guys to really, really hone in on today. That that five-step guide to complete your goals in this photo right here. So we brought Sean today, and him and myself are going to give you guys a, a demonstration of looking like two different haircuts. And we want to give you guys a system for life and for your success and for your goals as well as, as haircuts. So Sean, without further ado, we're going to give you guys his breakdown of his system that he uses for every single haircut he does that walks to the barbershop. Alright guys, so like he said, if you don't know me, my name is Sean Ralston. I'm from uh, Owensboro, Kentucky, small town in Kentucky. Uh, this is my third time at this shop teaching. I see a, quite a few familiar faces in here, so that's super cool. Appreciate you guys that have maybe come to see me before coming back and everybody else. Appreciate you guys coming out today. To go off of what Kendrick said, those were keys to success for life, right? For whatever task it is that you're going after, whether that be barbering or even, you know, outside of that, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to apply those same processes to haircutting, right? Because uh, I think sometimes we, we fail to have systems and processes when we're cutting hair. This process is going to help you guys apply to any head, any texture, any haircut. And I'm going to go through some examples. So, so I'll break it down into three parts. We got the style portion, the transition, and the fade. Fade or the clipboard. So here's an example for you guys. So our style portion is going to be our length on top. Now that can look different on different haircuts, right? It doesn't mean it's only on top. If it's a mohawk, it can be in the back. So then if we look at the same haircut, my transition area is the next thing that I want to identify. Most haircuts are going to have this. And again, we have our style portion. And where our transition is might change from haircut to haircut. But there's going to be a point where we transition from our style portion to our clipper work. And then last but not least, clipper work. Can everybody in here do a fade of some sort, right? We're going to have our clipper work area. And you can see in this haircut, all three of them in an example together. So, all right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to get into these cuts, kind of try to apply what we just looked at and make sure that you guys can, can visualize what we were seeing or like what I just explained and how I visualize haircuts. Yeah, so we're going to do kind of a little uh, burst on the sides mohawk. And because it's so much shorter back here, we're not going to touch any of this. And I'm probably going to just kind of make sure that we transition from the length we have here. Not take a bunch off the front and the top, but kind of make it flow together more so it doesn't look so short in the back. So I'm just visualizing as we start. I'm looking at, I'm going to go ahead and start on top. And that's something that we do a lot different. If it's something you guys haven't done, then you're going to feel super weird doing that. But when you start on top, how many of you guys ever done a fade because it's nice? You know, somebody came in with a whole bunch of hair. And then you cut the top and you're like, ooh, that fade don't. Right. Now I got like two inches of, of dark that doesn't fit where it's supposed to. If it's somebody that's super regular, like every two weeks, you're not always going to run into that because you know their hair. They come every two weeks. You can kind of just go right in and do do what you do. But especially somebody I've never cut, somebody with a lot of hair. Again, like these processes, I want, I want processes that are going to help me keep, keep things in order. Make sure I can put out exactly what it is that I want to put out. A lot of the time I'm going to cut the top first, and that's just going to allow me to, once I start doing my clipboard, I'm cutting into a finished product. So we're going to do kind of like that first taper mohawk on the sides. I'm going to kind of take this length and connect it in, and we'll cut the top a little bit, and then the back I might just texturize, and we'll kind of decide at the end what we want to do at the bottom. We want to like do it, it's probably just rounded. Some people like like a V in the back, that's not my favorite thing to do. So now we took it to both sides, it's going to give us a guide, right? You guys understand the hair came all the way to here. So when I take it up, this should be the longest. Taking it out to each side gave me the hair that was cut on each side of my hand. Now when I pull it up, I have a guide and all I have to do is get up to that, take it straight across, move on to the next panel, same thing. So you guys see my entire top is cut, style, I set my block graduation to begin with. I'm going to be able to take my clipper right into it and then we can do the clipboard. in the back guys Kendrick finishing up his cut he went for you know something crazy had to take a little bit longer Dre back here in the trap selling merch hats and t-shirts and some product and Bazio is out front 
they, they join the headlines team. They're excited to get going. And this is their plan. This is a lot of people's plan. All right, guys, that is it for the class. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what to expect if you guys want to take a class in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and got a little sense of what we do at these classes. If you guys like to do me a favor and smash that thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and let me know what cities you guys want to see us in. We are scheduling our next few stops, so you guys will have some days soon. And if we come nearby, make sure you guys don't miss out on these classes and definitely come meet me in person, guys. I would love to meet you guys. It's one of my favorite things about doing these classes and meeting all the people in those cities. But anyway, guys, that is it for the video. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next time.